ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದೇಶ್ವರ ಸಂಭ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದೇಶ್ವರಿ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರ ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೈ ಲವ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಡಿವೋಟೀಸ್ ಡಿಸೈಪಲ್ಸ್ ಸಮಾಜೀಸ್ ಸತ್ಸಂಗೀಸ್ ಸಿಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಸ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೊಮೆಂಟ್ ಥ್ರೂ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಟಿ ವಿ ಲೋಟಸ್ ನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಚಾನೆಲ್ ಸಾಧನಾ ಟಿ ವಿ ಜನಶ್ರೀ ಟಿ ವಿ ಈಶ್ವರ್ ಟಿ ವಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಟು ವೇ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಟು ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ನಯನ ದೀಕ್ಷಾ ಇನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಪರ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸಿಟೀಸ್ ಸಿಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಟು ವೇ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಟೊರಂಟೋ ಕೈಲಾಸಂ ಗ್ವಾಡಲು ರಾಮೇಶ್ವರಂ ಲಾಸ್ ಏಂಜಲೀಸ್ ಅರುಣಾಚಲಂ ಸ್ಯಾನೂಸೆ ಮಧುರೈ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ನಗರಮು ಹೈದರಾಬಾದ್ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ನಗರಮು ಬಿಡದಿ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ನಗರ ಬಿಡದಿ ಅಟ್ಲಾಂಟಾ ಉಜ್ಜಯಿನಿ ವಾಷಿಂಗ್ಟನ್ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಶ್ರೀಪುರಂ ನ್ಯೂಯಾರ್ಕ್ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಒಹಾಯೋ ಪ್ರಯಾಗ್ ಸೈಂಟ್ ಲೂಯಿಸ್ ತಿರುಮಲಾ ಸಿಯಾಟ್ಲ್ ಚಿದಂಬರಂ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ನಾರ್ತ್ ಸಿಂಗಾಪುರ್ ಸಿಂಗಾಪುರಂ ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ವಾಷಿಂಗ್ಟನ್ ನ್ಯೂಯಾರ್ಕ್ ಆಸ್ಟಿನ್ ಹೈದರಾಬಾದ್ ಗುಪ್ತಕಾಶಿ ಮುಲುಂದ್ ಮುಂಬೈ ಡೆಕೋಟಾ ಡೂನ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರು ನಾರ್ತ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರು ಮಲ್ಲೇಶ್ವರಂ ದೇವೋನ್ ಯು ಕೆ ನ್ಯೂಜಿಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆದಿ ಅರುಣಾಚಲಂ ಸ್ಯಾಂಡಿಯಾಗೋ ತಿರುವಾಲವಾಯ್ ಬೊಗೋಟಾ ಕೊಲಂಬಿಯಾ ಆಸ್ಟಿನ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಿಸ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ I welcome all of you with my love and blessings. Today, 8th day. <laughs> Completion with others. Not just other human beings in our life. With everything. You will talk to the trees. ocean hill pets friends relatives actually all of them are some are trees in your life some are ocean in your life some are pets in your life there is no difference actually inside so inside how you feel with a pet as you complete with others and life today actually the yesterday's walk siddhi initiation is specially to complete with others and life today i programmed such a way that all of you will complete today with everyone in your life with the power of your words shift the listening of the listener and even if you want to complete with me today finish it i am always complete so don't worry so i am not going to sit and listen to you maybe sit in front of my photograph and finish if you have any incompletions complete that also complete with everything everyone
when i say me i mean all i represent everything unknown in your life i am a totality of unknown in your life so whatever you call life god nature if you are not able to pinpoint anybody as a reason for your incompletion put that on me that's all i am the say i am the vyakta of avyakta for all of you i am the manifest of unmanifest for all of you so naturally all the unknown incompletions dump it on me and complete with it be complete with it i am almost like a large size dustbin for all of you to dump all your incompletions unknown actually master is expected to play that job and it's my responsibility to complete all your unknown incompletions like if you are depressed moody for no reason and you are not able to find any reason then naturally on whom the incompletion falls me only <laughs> so all the unknown incompletions incompletions which you are not able to pinpoint avyakta put all that also and complete try your best to complete with as many persons and as many things as possible completion with others will make you experience shuddha advaita the pure oneness or non dual experience even oneness is not the right word it's it looks like a ekatva no oneness is not right word non dualness advaita means non dual you will experience infinite under your ability to grasp please listen today i am defining non duality non duality is not oneness non duality means infinite but able to grasp you will expand to grasp the infinite that is advaita non duality it is the intellectual criminals like max muller and max mullerian's translation of our vedas to abuse our vedas that non duality has been translated as oneness which is not right they tra try to translate by using the word monism no advaita is neither monism nor non dualism sorry nor oneness advaita means non dual a dvaita see this two no two does not mean one neither one nor two uncountable infinite becomes your experience understand 
today what you are listening is going to be one of my breakthrough contribution to the whole hindu philosophy sanatana hindu dharma because the whole modern day neo hindus are suffering without understanding this word non dualism tons of questions if non dualism means then how so many gods can be there if i have to translate the word advaita with a clear meaning and the interpretation of the practical experience this is the experiential interpretation expression experiential expression of advaita advaita does not mean oneness advaita does not mean monism it means there is no two there is no one infinite but infinite everything is infinitely powerful that is why the sanatana hindu dharma allows all of us to be gods and not fight with each other all of us are gods and we don't need to fight with each other we don't need any superior body to guide all of us to rotate all of us or to give put a traffic signal for all of us all the planets are having any traffic policeman to put signal no they are all independently intelligent independently intelligent all of them exist all of them exist and all of them are ultimate no need for a superior body same way all of us are gods and no need for superior body you realize your potentiality you establish yourself in the completion space of completion you are god that's all these religious terrorists forcing their beliefs of their belief about one god on sanatana dharma sanatana hindu dharma either by conversion or terrorist activities or by intellectual terrorism force us to believe hinduism also believes in one god as a apolitical legitimate clear voice of hinduism and as the mahamandas do not believe in one god the ultimate experience of hinduism advaita does not support the idea of one god advaita the experiential expression of advaita is infinite gods all infinitely powerful without any need for any one superior or supreme personality or supreme godhead because your logic cannot grasp it before you experience it we reduce to the understanding of our logic anything reduced to understanding of our logic is not ultimate truth
as an experiential expression of advaita vedanta and advaitic principles today i wanted to make this understanding for all the questions related to god officially by nityananda dhyana peetam and this is the stand of all the vedic rishis only this experiential expression answers all the questions created all the questions comes up by all philosophers understand with this experiential expression infinite gods each one of them infinitely powerful you can answer all the philosophical questions of visishta advaita dvaita suddha advaita veda veda advaita advaita siddhanta advaita vedanta saiva siddhanta shankya darshana padanjala yoga uttara meemamsa purva meemamsa nyaya vaiseshika all the principles all the philosophies all their questions about god including agnostic philosophies like buddhism jainism and atheistic principles like all the questions the sanatana hindu dharma's basic truth only this can answer all the philosophical queries questions and complications experiential expression contribution because if you have a little intellectual background you know the whole hindu pandit community is suffering with most of them just give up these questions and get stuck with their family beliefs or the monastery they are associated with it or the tradition they are associated with it they just leave that belief and die without seeing the end of their seeking today i am revealing one of the highest experiential expression of pure advaita non dualistic philosophy's truth which forms the core of sanatana hindu dharma hinduism believes in infinite gods all of them infinitely powerful without any requirement of one superior person body godhead personality to guide or regulate the infinitely powerful infinite number of gods when you complete today with everyone this will be your realization i break the myth of oneness i break the myth of supreme personality of godhead i break the myth of the requirement of supreme personality please understand i break the myth of supreme personality of godhead i break the myth of oneness i break the myth of 
the necessity for supreme personality the truth the experiential expression of suddha advaita which i experienced which i am imparting to all of you which all of you will experience the truth only this truth can solve all the intellectual queries questions is there god is there multiple god is there one god then who is multiple who are all multiple who is one and who is superior then who selects who is going to be superior how can one be superior then what about the devi bhagavatam declares devi is only superior all ten incarnations came out of the nails of devi and what about the vishnu purana which declares all gods and goddesses including devi everybody is just one of the dream of vishnu then what about the shiva purana which declares all gods and goddesses are just dust which flies when mahadeva walks where is the answer for all these questions then what about the guru gita which declares all gods and goddesses are only just the charanamrita of guru where is the answer for all these questions then are we completely a confused religion just bunch, bunch of you old people who drank somars are their illusions and fantasies no we are the most powerful most sophisticated most intelligent most cutting edge presentation after left with the possibility to evolve more and more open for the possibility of updation i tell you to evolve to this understanding to evolve to this realization the whole hinduism was working it may look very simple declaration as one of the everyday morning satsang today what i am speaking but you will see the whole hinduism is going to be revolutionized by this understanding the whole humanity is going to be revolutionized this one understanding of infinite gods with infinitely powerful without the need for a supreme personality of godhead or the supreme authority to guide you will see the whole concept of god is going to be rewritten by himself the experiential expression of this truth will answer tons and tons of questions confusions i tell you this confusions led many people atheists are many people stopped seeking and they don't care anymore about this intellectual debates of because it is too confusing too much it's going above the head so they decide no enough no uh 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 
Now really, it almost like, it's almost like the expression you give when your wife argues with you. It's, I tell you, any debate, I am giving you the definition of how a judgment should be given in any debate. Which, please listen, first truth you need to know, no debate can be solved. That is why it is debate. Debates are not for solution, but to find final word. Please listen. Debates are not for judgment, but to find what is the final word. Final word of any debate should be, what is the statement which allows the possibility of further exploration? The statement which allows the possibility of further exploration should be the final word of any debate. I tell you, if we recognize all the greatest intellectual questions of all greatest intellectual philosophies on the planet Earth with this experiential expression, of the declaration of God. Without, Without any, any need, need for, for one, one supreme, supreme personality of Godhead, Godhead guiding, guiding or ruling, ruling. With, with this experiential expression, You start, start answering, answering recognizing, recognizing all, all the intellectual questions of, of all, all the great, great philosophies, philosophies on the planet, planet Earth. Earth. One, one, you will have, will have intellectual, intellectual treat. treat. Second, Second, you won't, you won't give, give up, up your thinking. thinking. You will, you will be going, going to the next, the next level, level of spiritual understanding. An incarnation's responsibility is to lead humanity to the next level. I have to raise you in all the uncertain at least one level further to certainty. I have to lead you into the unknown at least making one level further making it as a known to you. At least one aspect of the unknown, I should make it known to you. I should lead you at least to certain level into uncertainty. The vast avyakta, I should make at least one bit further vyakta to you. If you already know many things, I should lead the world at least one step, one step further. I should add to you are known. I tell you, I am satisfied. I have done this job just by this today's one declaration. I have job satisfaction just because of this one declaration. This solves all the questions of all the fights, all the debates, all the conflicts, all the controversies.
related to God. I name this experiential expression as Nityanandam. <clears throat> Giving this experience to all of you is the purpose of the program Nityanandam. Inner Awakening will be known from now onwards with the Sanskrit subtitle Nityanandam. The program will be known in Sanskrit as Nityanandam. And the purpose of this program is to give this experiential expression as your experiential expression. <clears throat> complete with others and life you will experience what I declare today as Nityanandam when you experience this great truth in tons of ways your life will change because you are going to experience your God you are going to experience your worst enemy in your life is God you are going to experience your best friend in your life is God you are going to experience your pet is God you are going to experience everything in you around you is God Not equally powerful, infinitely powerful. Understand, I am not saying all of us are equally powerful. I am saying all of us are infinitely powerful. It is up to us to express our infinite power. Each time when a human brain evolves to the next level, evolves to the next level and evolves to, the, to grasp the next level of understanding, a person opens up the knowledge of next level. That person who jumps out and reveals the knowledge is called incarnation. With this experiential expression, now start recognizing all the questions which you left unattended with this expression. Ah, 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 ah. Recognizing them with the expression of check, 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 check. You don't need to carry the expression of ah, 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 ah. You can now recognize with the expression of check, 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 check. The online cities, if you have the question, what is this check, 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 check? Come to the next Inner Awakening Level 4 to Bali. And get the answer. Till then, let this be a suspense. I don't want to name this as a philosophy. I only wanted to call this as experiential expression of infinity
Nityanandam is experiential expression of infinity. With the revelation of this great experiential expression, from this context, I bless you all. Do completion with others and yourself. You will experience this experience. And today, from this context, all of you sit and I commit with you all, I will mirror my neuron activities into your brain. I will move to the meditation process. Ardham. Mirroring neuron process. I'll call this process as Upanishad. Upanishad is nothing but a master gets into a space and lets the disciples to sit around and mirror that neuron activity in their brain. That is Upanishad. So, sit in Upanishad with Nityananda for Nityanandam. Let you all achieve, experience, live, express, radiate, share and explode in eternal bliss. Nityananda. Nityananda Dhyana Peetam, Nityananda Nagar, off Mysore Road, Bidadi, Bengaluru. Phone 080-2727-9999 www.nityananda.org www.youtube.com slash Lifebliss Foundation